this is kind of chaotic this is a real truly like real ass day in my life i have a meeting in literally where's my phone oh my god i have a meeting in seven minutes um it's literally at 11 and i yeah so this is a quick meeting to meet someone to learn more about like links and how i can like monetize etc etc so i don't need to look like too put together but like this is not gonna cut it so i need to hurry up pick a shirt plug all my stuff back in and then i literally have five minutes so i need to go probably stop talking and i'll be back in a minute it's 10 58 i put my phone on do not disturb Ugh. i hate when i rush like that i should have just i should have literally just got up <laughs> I was just hanging out in bed casually. I knew I had a meeting, so I don't know why I did that. Not it being 11.01. I mean, it's fine, obviously I was rushing, but now I'm like, I could have been more chill. Hello. Hi, how are you? Sure, um, so I am a LA lifestyle content creator. And since moving to LA in 2021, I've been like mainly focused on my content surrounding my my life in LA and trying to be a real adult person. YouTube and the influencer space, not that it's filled with fakeness, I don't, I don't necessarily think that, but I think it's very pretty all the time. And I think there's a lack of realness. And I think that as we see, like people are starting to like kind of reject that a little bit. So I've kind of just really leaned into reality okay meeting is done um i don't know what i why is it so dark hold on i was not expecting that meeting um i just like i mean i was expecting the meeting but i was so i just like didn't know what the meeting was like fully gonna entail and i was really inspired by what um the guy I spoke to was uh, his name was aaron I was really inspired by the conversation we had and the wheels are definitely turning. I'm I'm trying, I mean, as you guys heard, I, I know I left some clips in there, but like I'm really trying to figure out where my place is as a creator and just like, I just, I don't want to put out content for the sake of putting out content. Like that is so not my vibe. I don't want to just do things for the sake of doing things. That's a waste of time for me. That's a waste of energy and like, space taken like space taken up on the internet and it's not that i'm trying to like make sure i'm teaching you guys something every video that i put out like that's definitely not the tea i'm not a teacher i know nothing i am literally brain empty off however i want to entertain and i want i want you guys in any space that i'm in in any on any platform i want you guys to feel entertained i want you guys to feel like i'm being so like real with y'all because I genuinely am obviously like I'm gonna do an aesthetic shot or two like duh just because I like that and I think it's pretty but that's kind of what inspired this video today I wasn't even gonna film because my room was a mess my I, I have to leave to go to San Diego tomorrow like I'm not prepared and I have all this work stuff to do and I was like I'm not gonna film it's just like not gonna be a good vlog and then I was like but this is like real life and this is what people are saying that there's a lack of um, because I asked you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go do that. Shameless self-plug. I'm trying to grow, so follow me on Instagram. Um, but I asked you guys in my stories, like, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys watch? Why do you watch it? What do you not like? And a lot of you guys said that there's just a lot of fake shit out there. And you just want to see real life stuff. So this is real life. It's honestly always real life. Sometimes I make it pretty. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, I feel really good about that meeting. Um, obviously, it was like a it was a, a sales pitch. You know, it's his job, and I and I appreciate that. Um, so it is going to be like a collaborative work. You know, I am going to like probably pay for the services and get the services or whatever if I choose to do that. I'm inspired. I feel like that was a good conversation, and now I have so much work to do. But I also have a meeting with my life coach at 12:30, which is in like 40 minutes. So. I'm just gonna drink my coffee, try to get out some emails, work a little bit, have that call with her, and then I have to call my mom, but whatever, we'll get we'll get into that. So I actually just got off the phone with Paloma, LOL, of course. Um, just catching up with her. Actually, when you guys see this, we will have posted our first video on 2 Extra, which is a channel that Paloma and I started in 2020, and then, 
you know, we stopped and life happened and we moved on and we did other things. But we filmed a video in Vegas and just decided to post it on our two extra channel because we were both in the video. We both took time creatively to like do it. And so we were like, whose channel is this going on? And then we were like, well, we can just drop it into extra and like just see what the vibes are. So that's what we did. Um, so that's already out. Go watch it. It's linked down below and go subscribe and see what happens. I don't really know what's going to happen over there, but vibe it out. I have my life coach call in about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to, I'll walk you through my new desk setup. Okay. So this is a little bit backlit, but, um, so I have my laptop here. I got a new wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. It gets so dirty. I literally opened it, had it open for two seconds, and it got dirty. So I don't know what that's about, but anyway. Then I have my monitor here. I just have like a random SD card, an affirmation card, um, an allergy pill, an earring, a few earrings, lip products. I keep my coffee. Oh, I need this camera battery. My pens. I keep a notebook here, um, but yeah, I love this new setup. It's been so amazing for editing. Like, it's just been so, just so nice. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with. I had you guys sitting over there. I still need to handle all of this stuff on my bed and everything, but whatever, that's that. Celebrates and creates from the week. So celebrates, of course, be proud of, creates, you know, what do you want to improve? um create so your audience you're gonna relate more exactly anyway. exactly so he was like he was like try not to look at your try not to be like this is what a fashion vlogger is like this is what they do this is what i have to do he's like because fashion is fashion um and i'm proud of you for just like allowing or not allowing this current situation or just kind of like being in this limbo and then you know to other ones that is are you, that you're interested in and then make sure that you prioritize all five all right of course, i'll talk to you soon okay Have sounds good safe travels for you as well thank you thank you talk all to right. you soon all right bye Whew. so many meetings and now i have to call my mom ah in that trailer period truck that i have only seats five. Oh right get all or let it sit crack, and then we crack a beer and chug it i'm just kidding your face okay it is 4.53. I have been sitting here. Did the last clip you saw me? That was hours ago. It's almost 5 o'clock. I've been sitting here this whole time. I haven't gotten up. I haven't eaten anything. I have black coffee and it's only half. I only drank half of it. I haven't eaten. I haven't moved my body. I haven't gone outside. Oh, also, I'm not leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving Friday now. So that's the tea with that. But let's go in the kitchen. I'm starving. Let me, my brain, let me get it together. So I'm just gonna have leftover pasta because that's all I have right now. And maybe I'll also have some pretzels and hummus. I'm so hungry. And while I wait, I love these. These are the pretzel crisps. And these are the everything pretzels. They're so good. I got halal guys a few days ago, so I'm just gonna have the rest of this hummus. Oh, she's cooking. I still need to pack. I mean, I know I'm not leaving tomorrow, but I still need to pack, do something with all that laundry that's just like in my room. I'm going to sit here, eat my food, and try to gather my brain. I feel like my brain has just been like chatty, chatty, chatty. It's been on, so I need to like gather her and quiet her down. So I'm just gonna eat, vibe alone, and I'll chat with you guys probably when I am doing something with my bedroom. So 
as you can see here, I have put all of the laundry back on my bed. Um, I still don't have a dresser. So I still keep my clothes. I mean, I hang stuff up in my closet, obviously, but I keep my clothes in. Wait for it. Luggage! That's what I've been doing for the past four months. I'm going to pack very casually. Um, maybe we check the weather. It's definitely been cooling down. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I say that and then I check Saturday and it's going to be 92 degrees. So forget everything I just said. So I feel like jeans are safe. These are the only jeans that fit me. That's why I wear them all the time. These are the only jeans I have basically. So, and they're almost starting to not fit, but I don't want to talk about it. going to bring this. This is a set from... Amazon. It's just like this top and it comes with just like black high-waisted leggings, but I really like the leggings. I'm gonna be taking the train. Should I wear, should I wear these on the train? My mom just asked me what kind of cereal I wanted. I love that! Thanks mom! Special K strawberry yogurt cereal. I have no idea what it's actually called. I love these leggings. Like I just love like the Get into the detail. Can you see like the ribness of it? They're so stretchy. They're just so good and they're so high waisted. They literally come up to here. They're so nice. Okay, I figured it out. Um, definitely just packing like really chill things. I'm just taking this Adidas duffel bag that I always take. Essentially, I'm bringing things that I'm gonna leave at my parents' house. I have yet to figure out a nice place for my towels to go. I'm just gonna keep them in this like laundry bag. It's clean. I just, it always has clean clothes in it. So I'm just gonna, until I figure out a better solution. I wish that my life was more put together and more aesthetic. Like I genuinely, I genuinely do. Like it bothers me at times that it's not, but I'm trying my best. And because I post a lot and seem fine, that I'm fine and I'm happy and I'm privileged and I'm, you know, just like a stuck up bitch, honestly. I've seen, I've seen y'all talk about me. That's what happens when you put yourself on the internet, right? You open yourself up to criticism and all of that stuff. And that's not really the part that bothers me, truthfully, because I'm like, people say, whatever they want to say about me and what they think they know. I know what's going on with me, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that I'm not happy. I'm very happy, I'm very content. Um, but there, there are just things that I'm going through in my life that I don't talk about online, obviously, because I don't need, I just don't feel the need to talk about them online or feel the need for unsolicited opinions, conversation, feedback, etc. But anyways, this was not, I don't even know what this was. I'm not sure where I was going with any of that. But yeah, I would just encourage you to think maybe two, maybe three times before deciding that you know somebody. Because <laughs> the reality is you have literally no idea. What does that do? Well, it puts money in their pocket, so maybe you should. You should continue to talk about me online. Anyways, that's not what this is for. And for the people that love me, I love you. You literally don't understand. I do this for y'all. I do it for the haters too, because I love y'all too. But I seriously love making content and I hope that it gets better and I and that's my goal. Like I'm not trying to make content just for the sake of it. I've already talked about this. I just want to make things that make me happy, that make y'all happy, that do good for both of us. Obviously, I'm trying to also make money. I need to be able to pay rent. And obviously, like, we all know that content creation is is a, a reliable f source of income. And that's what I'm trying to get to ultimately. So I appreciate everybody who supports me and watches my stuff and, you know, clicks on the links. And, that, and I appreciate everybody who supports my sponsorships every now and then. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supports me. I'm seriously, like, you don't even understand. And I can't even begin to understand all 5.9k of you. All right, I definitely feel like I'm rambling. I'm gonna hang up these sweatshirts and then I'm probably gonna take a shower.
it's way later it's like almost 11 i so i think the last thing you guys saw was me get dressed i it's paloma guarantee yep of course i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video tell me your favorite sweet snack i'm looking for new ones oreo cakesters are starting to taste gross to me and i think it's just because i've ate them too much so i'm off oreo cakesters right now but if you've never had them you should try them because they'll change your life but i'm just off of them so if you have any sweet snack recommendations please let me know i'm allergic to tree nuts so just fyi love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one Bye.